while what was a gloomy start to the week is actually becoming a little bit more pleasant, especially for the second half and the end of our week. That's thanks to high pressure that has been building across the south that's finally pushing this pesky low pressure out of place. So showers finally out of the area, still holding on to some clouds as we start the morning, but we should see increasing sunshine, especially throughout the day today and especially for our day tomorrow. Not quite as much today as tomorrow. And that's just thanks to some of those clouds we are seeing this morning, but likely those hazy conditions we will continue to see throughout the day today. So still likely seeing that sunshine. It's just going to be more of, of a milky tint rather than bright blue crystal clear skies like we'll likely see for our day tomorrow. So get outside tomorrow. Enjoy it while it lasts because as we head into the weekend, we do lose that sunshine. Still a few pockets possibly on Friday, but really starting to lose it on Saturday and Sunday as we likely see pretty much mostly cloudy to overcast skies thanks to that next low pressure system that will be moving on through. So we keep the pretty much the middle of the week dry. Friday, just a few light pop-up showers, maybe a pop-up storm here and there, but I expect most of us will stay dry for our feel-good Friday before we likely see widespread scattered showers and storms Friday on Saturday, Sunday. That activity, though, does wrap up Monday morning, so Monday afternoon and forward down Tuesday. We'll likely see clearing skies getting back to sunshine, especially by the time we get to Tuesday. Those so we start the morning, currently 61 here in Wheeling with a warm spot of 64 down to St. Mary's and our cool spot of 55 on over into Cambridge. So temperatures likely won't change a whole lot more this morning. Decreasing wise, we'll just likely see those temperatures rise throughout the day, quickly get into the 70s even before lunchtime, getting up to just about 78 here in Wheeling. It's almost actually across much of the area. A few spots though, good chance you'll try and hit the 80s as well. Otherwise, most of us likely in that 78 to 80 degree range for day today. So just some cloud starter morning. Those quickly clear out, so predictor really not going to show much in the way of cloud cover this morning. Those we head towards the late morning afternoon hours, notice how we do see that hazy look once again start to return it. So that unfortunately will drop our air quality all throughout the day today and already in that unhealthy range. So across much of the panhandle in eastern Ohio, already in that unhealthy range, but notice spots like Carrollton through New Philadelphia, now down to Cambridge, Coshocton, and Millersburg in that very unhealthy approaching the hazardous range. So people with those underlying health issues, so either adults, children, if you have any issues with respiratory, definitely try to stay inside as much as you can throughout the day today. Keep the windows closed, not a bad idea as well. But even those of you without underlying health issues, really try to limit any outdoor activity if you can today. So try avoid mowing the lawn, any physical activity. If you're gonna walk, keep it to a short walk, but if you are gonna go for a little bit longer, Try to take breaks in between, and if you notice any symptoms like having trouble breathing, coughing, try to get inside as soon as you can. Those conditions, though, improve for our day tomorrow, so mostly sunny. Our temperatures, though, get back into the 80s, and we'll just see that continue to rise over the next couple of days with humidity, high humidity, likely returning for a feel-good Friday. That could lead to a stray shower or pop-up storm possible, but I do expect most of our rain and storm activity to stick with us for a day on Saturday and Sunday. Few light showers linger into Monday morning, though that wraps up by lunchtime. Still in the 80s, but we'll see skies clearing throughout the day. So by the time we get to Tuesday, back to mostly sunny skies and our temperatures getting back into the mid and upper 80s.